Welcome to StaffWorks Explained. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. Also, hit the notification bell so that when we upload a new video, you are, notif you are notified. Uh, today we are going to talk about a hydropower station in Uganda, the Karuma Hydropower Station, which is uh, touted to be the largest power generating installation in Uganda. This project is a 600 megawatts hydroelectric power project uh, which is located in uh, Victoria Nile at the former location of Karuma Falls which is uh, in uh, mid north uh, western Uganda about 110 kilometers downstream of Lake Kioga and 270 kilometers from Kampala the capital city. The idea of these hydroelectric power was conceived in the mid 1990s when the Uganda government initiated plans to harness the power potential of Karuma Falls through construction of a hydropower station. Uh, initially, a Norwegian energy company called NOPAC was enlisted to conduct uh, the feasibility study and environmental impact assessment EIA for this dam. The World Bank pledged financial support through a loan and this was to facilitate the construction process. Uh, after the years of assessment and planning, uh, the feasibility study report was finalized and released in October 2006. Subsequently, bids for the construction of the project were solicited in November of the same year. Initially, the project was aimed to develop a 200 uh, to 250 megawatts power station, but this has changed as we'll see uh, in, uh, later in this video. However, by 2009, there was a significant shift in the project scope with plans rev revised to accommodate a much larger capacity of 750 megawatts. Amid its, these developments, NOPAC withdrew from negotiations with the government of Uganda. Uh, I mean, uh, this negotiation between this company and the government of uh, Uganda. This company attributed this decision to the global financial crisis that uh, the world was facing between 2008 and 2012. Uh, moving forward, in response to the new product scale, the Ugandan government engaged Energy Infratech Private Limited to conduct another feasibility study because the, the feasibility study now that was done in, uh, in, 2000, in 90, I mean 2006 could not be used because some years have passed and then uh, capacity has been uh, increased. The decision was driven by the need to reassess the project viability and also the environment, uh, environmental impact that this project will have in the light of the expanded power station. At this juncture, the construction was anticipated to commence in 2012 and span over six years. However, in July 2011, media reports revealed a revision of the project maximum capacity, which was scaled back to 600 megawatts. Uh, from the ratio 750 megawatts. We started with 200, 200 we moved to 750, and now uh, at this time it was scaled back to 600 megawatts. Some international development partners advocated for further reduction, proposing a maximum capacity ranging from 400 to 450 uh, megawatts. But the government of Uganda insisted on 600 megawatts, and this is what was built. Looking at cost and uh, technical specification of the pro this project. Uh, on technical specification, the project comprises of a rolla compacted concrete gravity dam which measures 20 meters high and 312 meters long. There are six water intake towers, each measuring uh, 20 meters high and 29 meters wide. There's an ag another ground chamber uh, which houses six vertical uh, Francis turbines each with a capacity to generate uh, 100 mega megawatts of electricity. The dimensions of the ground chamber are 200 meters long, 21.3 meters wide and 53 meters uh, high. In terms of uh, construction cost, in Ju January 2011, Energy Infratech Private Limited estimated the cost of the dam and the power plant at approximately uh, 2.2 billion dollars. This cost included the construction of transmission lines from Karuma to integration points in the national grid uh, line. 
high voltage transmission lines were planned to connect the power station to substations in Kawanda uh, in Wakiso district area and as, as well as Oluyo, Oluyo in Nwaya district. The estimated construction cost for the transmission lines were $250 million. Sino Hydro, a Chinese construction company, was awarded the construction contract in June 2013. The construction costs were to be jointly funded by the Ugandan and Chinese government with the Exim Bank of China committing to fund 85% of the cost. The Ugandan parliament approved loans totaling to US dollar 1.435 billion uh, from the export import Exim Bank of China for the project in May, March 2015. As of March 2015, Uganda has had already invested uh, US dollars 253 million in the project, bringing the total funds committed to 1.68 million dollars. By June 2018, approximately 76 percent of the work was completed, with the total construction budget quoted to be 1.7 billion dollars. Out of these, 1.4 billion dollars was allocated for construction of the power stations, while 300 million dollars was designed uh, for the transmission lines and substations. In terms of construction progress, the project has, be, has made some significant uh, progress, which is marked by milestone as well as development. In terms of initiation, initiation and contraction, which was between 2013 and 2015, uh, we saw that the construction started in 2013, August, with uh, Sign Hydro a Chinese company as the lead contractor. In March 2015, a significant contract was signed with Astom for the provision of equipment and technical services, including installation of six 100 megawatt Francis turbines. In terms of workforce and progress between 2016 and 2018, by October 2016, a large workforce comprising of Chinese and Ugandan nationals was actively engaged in the construction process. By February 2018, approximately 74% of the entire project was reported as completed with the expectation for commissioning by December 2018, although this never happened. As of June 2018, significant progress had been made about 76% of the physical work was completed. Workplace primarily consisting of a, a workforce which was primarily, I mean, uh, consisting of Ugandan workers showcasing project completion I mean, uh, contribution to the local employment. Transmission lines were constructed and substations were constructed between 2018 and 2019, which included three new substations and, and upgrades to existing ones to accommodate the power from Karuma. By April 2019, the power station was approximately 80% complete with high voltage transmission lines also nearing completion. In September 2019, an estimated uh, 90% 5% of construction had been completed with commission commissioning of the power plant uh, planned for December 2019. The recent development regarding the Karuma power stations uh, project highlights several key updates and milestones. There is expansion of the lines as we have seen where Umeme, Umeme, the largest national distributor, announced plans to construct a network of 33 kilovolts lines from Karuma to Kigwa, uh, Kigumba and onwards to various districts enhancing distribution of network for electricity generated by power stations. Uh, this was commissioned in uh, November 2020. There's, uh, in May, following a site tour, the chairperson of the power, st uh, power company set new commissioning date for the power station to 2022. By June 2021, the project was reported to be 98.8% complete with contractor addressing discrepancies and actively working on the remaining tax tasks. As of November 2023, four of the six generators were already supplying power to the national grid and uh, the remaining two turbines were scheduled to come online in, to, uh, in 2024 with commercial commissioning planned for September 2024. Currently, the power is going through testing with the expectation that uh, it will be commissioned uh, later in the year. Karuma Hydro Power Station will have significant impact on Uganda's economy. 
is expected to increase the country's installed electricity capacity with 200,000 megawatts, which will help the country meet the growing demand for power. The project has also created jobs and is expected to boost economic activity uh, in Uganda and also in the neighboring country. So we'll be looking to see when this project will be commissioned, when it will be commissioned on time as expected, and whether it will uh, give Ugandans the uh, uh, benefits that are expected from this project. So thank you for reaching this far. If it's your first time here, please subscribe to this channel. Watch other videos that we have done on various projects and uh, be on the lookout for future projects. Thank you.